Hey, this is Chad Carter with ChadCarter.net and LearnHallLens.com. And here we are in part four of our little tutorial here of the bouncing ball, getting the bouncing ball to work on the hall lens. And the first tutorial, we actually worked on creating the scene that we have here with the ball and the plane, adding a physical uh, material to it. And so it bounces some, added the red material so it has a little bit of color. We added in the hall lens camera. And so if you're wanting more information about that, then check out uh, part one. In part two, we actually uh, went through the details of deploying the app to the HoloLens emulator and to a HoloLens device. So if you need details on that, make sure you look at part two. In part three, we're, we started to expand the tutorial a little bit in that the ball itself can now be reset to right above the camera and in front of the camera. And we did that through voice recognition and uh, keyword manager and also via the space bar in the editor itself and that's and then we also uh, showed that running in the emulator in part three so here we are in part four and what we're going to do today is add in spatial mapping so spatial mapping is the process that Hollins uses to map its surroundings it is constantly scanning and checking based off its depth uh, cameras how far away uh, things are so we can see okay well hey here is an object that is you know three feet in front of me and it builds up the triangle mesh based off of what it's seeing and it creates basically a 3d mesh a 3d object that's constantly being updated based off what it's seen in the real world so again, whether it's a couch or a chair or a table and things of that nature. And then your app game experience could actually use that data to uh, handle things like putting uh, something on the coffee table, knowing where the coffee table's at and putting something on the coffee table. Or having a little character run around and it sees, or it doesn't actually see, it might run into a table and bounce off the, the leg of the table because... Um, the virtual world of this little character running around and the real world of your table are mixed together. And that's what we, you know, kind of consider mixed reality here of the virtual world and the real world coming together. And spatial mapping is what we're going to be implementing in this week's tutorial. So to start off with, we're just going to come up here and look for... Uh, spatial mapping and again we have a hollow toolkit that we talked about in the very first tutorial but there's a prefab from the hollow toolkit we can drag in which is makes our job really really easy so here in the spatial mapping um, we have this notion of an object surface observer and this is for the benefit of the editor itself this script only gets ran in the editor it does not get ran on the device or the emulator itself but I want to look for a mesh, a special mesh called SR mesh. And this is spatial mapping data uh, that was created. It was scanned in. And now we actually are drawing the visual meshes. It's what's set up here. And again, I'll go a lot more detail into spatial mapping in my, um, in fact, the very first master class that we did back in September of 2016. So in that master class for the premium learn Holland's membership site uh, we go into uh, detail on this but for purposes of this tutorial uh, the main thing I want to point out is we can actually test things in the spatial mapping inside the editor it's actually a very cool thing so I can bring in the SR mesh I'm gonna go ahead and delete this plane and we'll reset the bouncing ball uh, to like position you know zero 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 in the real world or in, in this here and in our in our world so that way it's kind of the same place as the camera um, and if we want to we could kind of put it above and in front of the camera a little bit for now we're just gonna have it smack in the center of the world and therefore when we actually uh, hit play and bring in the spatial mapping we'll see over here in this the scene view the actual spatial mapping data we see the ball bouncing around and it's interacting with that spatial mapping data So 
So we can see the ball is bouncing, it's bouncing around, it's interacting with the spatial mapping. And all we had to do to bring that in is drag in the spatial mapping prefab. We're able to see what's rendered because we actually have this draw visual meshes on. If you're deploying this, it might be that you wouldn't want to actually display the meshes over your object. So if it bounces on the couch, it just looks like it's bouncing on the couch, not on the you know 3D wireframe that's on the couch. What we want to do now is actually deploy this to the HoloLens device itself. So I'm going to deploy this to the HoloLens device so that you can see it running in action and bouncing off different furniture. So there you have it, spatial mapping on the Hall lens. Uh, just a real brief introduction to it, but the main thing is using the Hall toolkit, put the spatial mapping prefab in there to work with inside of Unity. You want to make sure you've assigned a room. Um, so for this this example, use the SR mesh. There's actually a way that you can scan if you have a device, you can scan in your environment and then work inside of Unity with your environment. Um, so you can easily debug things and see how certain uh, things would interact inside of your room or some other room. So in this series, we have created a bouncing ball inside of the hall lens. So I hope this has been beneficial to you. If you enjoyed uh, the tutor tutorial series, I would uh, highly suggest you take a look at learnhollands.com uh, because every month, I create a master class that goes in depth into different topics on the HoloLens. Uh, the very first month was around spatial mapping. And then we went to a deep dive inside the emulator and exactly how that works. That way, even if you don't have a device, how you can get started with HoloLens development um, immediately and really get on, uh, get on the ground floor of this great technology without having to actually pay for a device and uh, hit the ground running. And uh, we did a uh, class on like the magic window. So the idea of you have a window to the world. And I have a, uh, a video here on YouTube um, as an example of that. And we discussed exactly how you uh, create that. That was another, another one we did. And uh, again, we'll be having more. There's already a, another one out there. But there's, you can check out LearnHoloLens.com if that interests you. If there's something that you'd like to see, by all means, let me know. If you have questions about HoloLens development, let me know. I do want to uh, help you as much as I can. Obviously, time is time is limited, and this is, you know, I uh, have to do uh, other things. But at the same time, as I have time, I definitely will um, figure out ways to help you along your HoloLens development journey. So with that, I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you 
in next week's video.